Welcome to Flying Fires YouTube. Today we're going to be firing up over here at Disneyland October 1st. Happy Halloween. Let's do this. First thing I want to talk about is the new turnstiles that arrived at DCA. I'm actually missing some of the components that would go right here that take a picture of you. But these look like permanent. I don't think this is something they're going to remove again. Because a long time ago they actually put these up and then they took them away but maybe they've gone through their testing and they're ready to go can't wait to see these come to life uh at all the turnstiles make things easier to get into the park at dca and disneyland still got the theme scaffolding on the railroad i'm only assuming that the railroad will come back by november 15th which is tiana's bayou adventure opening day and christmas time it'd be kind of weird to not have the train during christmas <laughs> Always a good day when you can say hi to Mickey Blinky. What's up? Ah, Halloween time at Disneyland is so beautiful. I think I want to check out the Emporium. See if there's any new merch. Let's find out. There's tons of Halloween merch everywhere. Obviously, we're in Halloween season, but Christmas stuff is creeping in. That's pretty cool, Haunted Mansion Christmas shirt. Make spirits bright. Got some cool retro stuff. Man, I love these. These are cool. How much are they? Uh, no price. Variable pricing. Goofy, Lizzie McGuire stuff. Got basketball. Football Mickey. Oh my Lanta. Christmas. Look at this. This is straight Christmas. Wow. Would it be wrong to wear one of these right now in October? <laughs> First time I've seen this Sorcerer shirt. That is awesome. I recently saw these on my last trip. These like bling bling Mickey ears. But these have now arrived. More of the bling bling. Are these two a princess? I don't know. The Christmas ones. Got the dragon. I hope we see you next year. And then these, I think these are my favorite for Halloween time. We got some new shoulder plushies that have arrived. It's cool how they're doing a set of two now. Uh, these are being sold for like 40 bucks. The price is not there, but my buddy just told me they're like 40. Uh, they also got Chip and Dale as like a double. So that's the new thing, two shoulder plushies. I've been seeing these all over Instagram. It's still right here in Main Street, next to the jewelry shop. I thought that would have been like 200 bucks, but 90. Am I reading that right? 25 minutes? We gotta do it. The future, I will be the curtain of time. It is your yes.
<laughs> just got off a crazy ride. Indy's so nuts when you do it. I haven't done it in a long time, so that was a lot of fun. But Jungle Cruise closed for refurbishment. It's just a short one. It'll be back on Friday if everything goes good. I feel like every time I do Indy, I just feel like it's the best ride at Disneyland. I mean, it's so crazy. I can't believe how old it is, and it still hits like you wouldn't believe. Like, like it made my whole day. Like I don't, I don't even I feel like I don't even have to do another ride. But I do have Haunted Mansion at some point. Gotta wait for that virtual queue. The overnight progress is insane on Madame Leota. It's already getting closed up. I do not doubt by like November we have really cool theming. Wow. Here's a better look at the front side of it all. Oh, they're oh, testing, no. yes. Man, they're testing a lot now for Tiana's. No freaking way. I hear the music, everybody. I feel like the music's coming from here. More than like up there. This is so cool. Look how fast they're just pumping these locks through. Holy smokes. Also too, I hear music down here. It's so cool to see logs again. Oh my lanta. That music is so loud. Clearly hear it from a uh, hungry bear. It looks like they added this right here. Maybe that'll be for like plants, floral. Here's a great view at the main entrance of Tiana's. And then this is uh, the queue area. Right next to Pooh's Corner. This is where uh, Lewis's is going to be the Lewis Critter Club or something like that. Rides are like really short wait time today, so I'm going to do as much as I can. Like rise, it only says 35. It's probably a walk on. At the 
end of the hallway. Turn right. A drone droid, then stay out of trouble. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, the door for the prisoner. <laughs> Like I'm having the best day at Disneyland. I'm doing all the big rides and not even waiting like 20 minutes at all. Rice is so good. Uh, I think I'm gonna celebrate this low empty crowd day with the black calf from Docking Bay 7. I've been meaning to get one of those for a while, but today seems like a really good day. And it's like 90 degrees out here, it's hot. If you're in the mood for anything Star Wars, over here at Docking Bay 7, the black calf coffee is absolutely delicious. I've had this like honestly over 20 times probably since it's opened. Definitely worth it. Mm -mm -mm. That is just so good. We got one last thing to do and that's Haunted Mansion. They finally called my virtual boarding group. Let's go. This is the area where we would go to the extended queue through there. Man. Would cause such a scare. The children of nestled horses. You might see a few flaws. And now the dark air. Futures yet to be. 
This has truly been one of my favorite days I've had all year. Got to do great rides with short wait times. The crowds are very low, very calm. It's kind of shocking because today's a, a boogie boogie day. So I feel like it should be crowded, but it's not. I guess the cheap tickets have gone and went. So maybe this will be kind of the, the new normal, hopefully for a little bit. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching Fine Fires YouTube. We're gonna keep track of all the Tiana Bayou Adventure updates. Definitely will be here whenever those walls drop, the construction walls drop for Tiana's, we'll be here covering it all. Can't wait to get those beautiful views of Tiana's without construction walls. Smash that like button, we're firing it down.